हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द एक्सेल इन करंट अफेयर सेशन ऑन एक्सीजेंस एजुकेटर सभी को नमस्कार सभी को स्वागत है एक्सेल इन करंट अफेयर सेशन में आज वीकली स्कोर बूस्टर सेशन में हम देखेंगे जून महीने का मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट करंट अफेयर्स पार्ट टू दैट इज वील कवर द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट करेंट अफेयर्स फ्रॉम सिक्स जून टू ट्वेल्थ जून राइट सो आई होप यू हैव बीन डूइंग द डेली करंट अफेयर्स फ्रॉम और एक्सीजेंस एजुकेटेड ऐप एक्सीजेंस एजुकेटेड ऐप से आप डेली करंट अफेयर्स पढ़िए एक्सीजेंस एजुकेटेड ऐप गूगल प्ले स्टोर पर आपको मिल जाएगा ऑल्सो विल फाइंड द लिंक विल फाइंड द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो ओके वीडियो के नीचे जो डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स है वहाँ पर आपको ऐप का लिंक मिल जाएगा राइट right? so every sunday 7 pm please do not miss this class okay every sunday 7 pm right this is very important for all upcoming examinations be it banking exams be it ssc exams be it railway exams or be it state psc exams right so before starting let me tell you one thing if you want to uh, take mocks okay good quality mocks for bank ssc railways you can just purchase the one year subscription for rupees 269 only okay use my code anirban okay you will get the subscription for rupees 269 only theek hai aapko link description box mein mil jayega mox ka link description box mein mil jayega you can just click on the link and use my code anirban you will get the mox for rupees 269 only one year okay more than 2000 mox more than 2000 mocks right so let's start the session without further ado so this is today's first question which iit has recently developed early cyclone detection technique kis iit ne kis indian institute of technology ne early cyclone detection technique develop kiya hai i early cyclone detection technique so you all know that the class is bilingual okay that is hindi and english right the explanation will be इन हिंदी एंड इंग्लिश बोथ राइट सो मेरे साथ साथ आप अपना आंसर टैली कर लीजिए वॉट विल बी द आंसर टू दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन हुई आई आई टी हैज डेवलप्ड इट रिसेंटली येस इट वॉज इन द न्यूज इट इज नॉन अदर दैन आई आई टी खड़गपुर हैव ए लुक यर हैव ए लुक यर रिसर्चर्स एट द इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी खड़गपुर हैज डेवलप रैदर हैव डेवलप्ड अ टेक्निक दैट कुड बी यूजफुल इन द अर्ली डिटेक्शन of development or strengthening of tropical cyclones in the atmospheric column prior to satellites over ocean surface in the north at sorry north indian ocean region right because we all know that north indian ocean and the bay of bengal right these two are uh, the hotspots of cyclones fine recently we had so many cyclones that hit india okay so that is why iit kharagpur's this particular news is very important early cyclone detection technique quite important from the exam point of view next one what was the theme of world environment day 2021 which was observed on 5th june so ye theme ko lekar bahut sare confusion hai i will clear all confusion today jitne bhi confusions hai aapke man mein sab dur kar dunga don't worry world environment day 2021 was observed on 5th june iska theme kya tha इसका थीम था रीइमेजिन रिक्रिएट एंड रेस्टोर सी आई हैव टेकन दिस डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम द यूनाइटेड नेशंस वेबसाइट देयर पेज वर्ल्ड एनवायरनमेंट डे फिफ्थ जून हैव अ लुक हियर रीइमेजिन रिक्रिएट रेस्टोर ओके दिस वाज द थीम एंड वन मोर थिंग इफ द क्वेश्चन इज आस्क्ड इन दिस वे व्हाट इज द फोकस और व्हाट इज द फोकल पॉइंट सी इकोसिस्टम रेस्टोरेशन ecosystem restoration is the focal point have a look here what is the theme theme kya tha theme hai reimagine recreate restore after that you can also see ecosystem restoration so in the exam if they ask you what is the theme you can mark this one safely reimagine recreate restore just remember by three r's okay and after that if they give after giving a uh hyphen or giving a dash ecosystem restoration that is also fine okay next one novak djokovic and one more thing agar aapko option mein ye nahi mil raha hai theek hai if you find this in the option this is also correct theek hai it depends on the examiner right and one more thing pdf ka jo link hai is pdf ka link aapko telegram channel pe mil jayega 
this is the name of our telegram channel exigence educator just search it ok pdf ka link aapko telegram channel pe mil jayega right just type this or search exigence educator on telegram you will get the class pdf on our telegram channel or description box mein bhi mil jayega link next one novak djokovic won the belgrade open belgrade open 83rd title of his career by defeating whom so this type of questions are often asked by defeating whom novak djokovic has novak djokovic you can say the pronunciation is djokovic has won it so he has defeated whom so answer will be alex malkan right belgrade open novak djokovic defeats malkan wins 83rd career title 83rd career title next one which state has recently announced to start medicine atm quite important right medicine atm kis rajya ne shuru karne ke liye jo announcement tha official announcement kar diya hai theek hai medicine medicine atm so answer will be uttar pradesh see railways install the first health atm at lucknow charbagh railway station okay so the charbagh railway station in lucknow has special uh, treats for passengers in the form of two health atms okay medicine atm that were installed by the indian railways recently right next one raimona in kokrajhar district has become the sixth national park of a state so aapko ye batana padega it is situated in which state raimona in kokrajhar district of which state so these two are important keywords okay and sixth this is also an important keyword okay sixth national park this can also be asked whether it is fourth fifth sixth or seventh right so yes it is in assam have a look here raimona becomes assam's sixth national park very very important okay right have a look here the wildlife habitat in kokrajhar district adjoins westernmost buffer to manas tiger reserve very important right next one which state has topped in anemia mukt bharat index anemia mukt bharat index 2020 2021 this is also quite important from the exam point of view okay so and one more thing once you go through this video once you attend this premier session please try to watch this again right as a revision tool then watch at 1.25 speed right this will save your time so answer is answer will be madhya pradesh one more thing himachal pradesh is at the third spot odisha is at the second spot have a look here himachal pradesh jumps to third spot in anemia mukt bharat understood right madhya pradesh is at the first position and it is followed by orissa okay so orissa is in the second position himachal pradesh third and madhya pradesh first theek hai chaliye next one recently who has announced pran vayu devta pension scheme and oxy van that is oxygen force so who has recently announced it so aapko ye bhi puch sakta hai aur aapko puch sakta hai which state has announced it so what will be the answer answer is manohar lal khattar have a look here haryana cm you all know right so this is being done to avoid shortage okay oxygen shortage forest cover shortage in the future so amid the ongoing pandemic several states including haryana witnessed a critical rather crisis of medical oxygen which was needed for severely ill covid 19 patients to avoid such deficit so uh, the government has come out with a unique initiative pran vayu devta pension scheme right and oxy van not van the pronunciation will be oxy van okay oxygen forests right oxygen forests hmm right have a look what the state government is calling as oxy van van means forest the word van in hindi translates to forests theek hai not van okay it is van oxy van 
these are identified pieces of land on which as many as 3 crore trees would be planted. Can you imagine? What a noble initiative. Okay. Next one. Which bank has received which bank has received RBI nod to reappoint C S Ghosh? That is that is Chandra Shekhar Ghosh, C S Ghosh, Chandra Shekhar Ghosh as the MD and CEO, managing director and CEO for a period of three years. So, which bank has received the nod from uh, approval from RBI, Reserve Bank of India? Yes, it is none other than Bandhan Bank. So, RBI approves reappointment of Chandrasekhar Ghosh as MD and CEO of Bandhan Bank. Of Bandhan Bank. Next one, name the F1 racing driver who has won the Azerbaijan Grand Prix 2020. You can pronounce it as Grand Prix. Okay, actual pronunciation is Grand Prix, right? Azerbaijan Grand Prix 2021 has been won by Sergio Perez. Azerbaijan Grand Prix Sergio Perez wins after Max Verstappen's uh, high-speed car crash. Okay, Sergio Perez. Right. Next one. Who has recently launched the six modules of short films? Titled Hisab ki Kitab. Hisab ki Kitab. Okay. And the short films of IEPFA. Hisab ki Kitab. So, who has recently launched it? It has been launched by none other than Anurag Singh Thakur, Union Minister of State for Finance and Corporate Affairs. Sri Anurag Singh Thakur launches IEPFA's six modules of short films titled Hisab ki Kitab. Right. So, this is also quite important from the exam point of view. Next one, name the state or UT, Union Territory that recently launched, that has recently launched, that has recently launched Knowledge Economy Mission, Knowledge Economy Mission to boost job prospects in the state by supporting knowledge workers. Very, very important. So, of course, you can easily guess the answer. Answer is Kerala. Knowledge economy mission to boost the job prospects. This has been launched by none other than Kerala, the state government of Kerala, right? Okay. You can just have a look. Kerala Development and Innovation Strategic Council. Okay. They have spear, uh, spearheaded this. Okay. Next one, name the person who has become the first French winner of international Booker Prize in 2021. First French winner. Very, very important. This question becomes very important from the exam point of view. Okay. First French winner. Okay. First French winner. So, answer will be David Diop. International Booker Prize David Diop becomes the first French winner. First French winner. Please note it down. Okay, please note, take note of this. Okay, very important. Next one, Dash has approved 500 million dollar program to help e boost India's MSME sector, micro, small, and medium enterprises sector. So, Dash has approved it. Who has approved this? Uh, approved this one recently? Who has approved it? Tell me. So, what will be the answer? The answer will be. The answer will be. Yes, do tell your answer with me, guys. Answer is World Bank. So, headquarters of ADB is Manila, Philippines. Right. We all know headquarters of ADB is Manila, Philippines. Right. Next is World Bank. Obviously, our answer headquarters is in Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. IMF headquarters is also in Washington, D.C. Same. Okay. And what is the headquarters of AIIB? This is also quite important. AIIB headquarters is in Beijing, China. Beijing, China. Okay. Chalo, next one. Which state or union territory has launched Young Tab program? Young Tab program or scheme for the students. For the students. So recently, uh, the state of West Bengal had also launched a similar type of scheme or program. 
So, yes, this scheme has been launched by Ladakh, right. Ladakh Lieutenant Governor launches Yontab scheme for the students, distributes tablets, okay. So, launched the Yontab scheme for students and distributed 12,300 tabs among them virtually in Leh, Ladakh, okay. Quite important, okay. We should note that education cannot stop, fine, because we all know that all the exams have been cal have been are being cancelled right are either being cancelled or being postponed so exams should not stop other things can wait but education education cannot wait right you can postpone the exams you can uh, take the exams online okay or you can uh, take the exams in offline mode but you should maintain the protocols, okay, COVID protocols, okay. So, but please, uh, this is a request from every teacher to the government that the government, the central government and the state governments that do not cancel the examinations because the students will lose a golden opportunity to assess themselves, right. So, education should uh, go in a full-fledged manner. Okay, be it online, be it offline. So, precautions must be taken, but education cannot stop, right? Okay, Bacho ki, Bacho ki Bhavishya ka sawal hai, yaha pe, okay. Who has been appointed the World Bank Education Advisor? World Bank Education Advisor. So, it is none other than Ranjit Singh Disale, very important, he was also in the news within the last 3 to 4 months, right. Ranjit Singh Disale, winner of Global Teacher Award, yes, this is why he was in the news, has become World Bank's Education Advisor, World Bank's Education Advisor, very, very important, please note it and the period is from 20, uh, sorry, June 2021 to June 2024, okay, chalo, next one. Who among the following has won the Nature TTL Photographer of the Year 2021? This is also very important from the exam point of view. Nature TTL Photographer of the Year 2021. So, who is it? I hope you have already gone through this news because it was uh, already mentioned in, in our app. Okay. So, if you have gone through the daily news, you will be knowing it, right. So, this person is from Kerala, right and he is uh, now settled in Canada, okay. Kerala based person, right, Kerala based photographer, you can say, Kerala based photographer, now settled in Canada. So, who is he? Yes, I am speaking of Thomas Vijayan, right, Thomas Vijayan and this is the picture, this is the picture of the, uh, of an orangutan, right we all know okay orangutan clinging to a tree right and what is the name of this photograph the name of this of this uh, particular photograph is the world is going upside down the world is going upside down this is the name of this particular photograph right for which he has won the award right and this award will carry a uh, grand prize of 1500 pounds, 1500 pounds which is equivalent to, which is equivalent to rupees 1.5 lakhs, okay, right. So, this is quite important from the exam point of view and uh, he has won it out of 8000 entries, this particular photograph has won it, right. Next one, the theme of World Oceans Day is the ocean life and livelihoods. So, ye World Oceans Day ka theme tha. So, it is celebrated every year on which date? It is celebrated every year on which date? So, theme is also very important from the exam point of view, you all know, right? So, answer will be 8th June. Answer is 8th June. I have taken it directly from the United Nations website. World Oceans Day, 8th June. The ocean, life and livelihoods. The theme has already been mentioned, right, in the heading. Next one, World Food Safety Day. Another important question is celebrated on which date? World Food Safety Day is celebrated on which date? This is also very, very important from the exam point of view. 
So, yes my answer will be 7th June and what is the theme? I have taken this from the website of World Health Organization, safe food now for a healthy tomorrow, safe food now or today for a healthy tomorrow, very very important. See safe food today for a healthy tomorrow, this was the theme right. Which university has gained the first position in uh, THE, this will be in capital times higher education. Asia University Rankings 2021, very very important I am telling you guys, very very important from the exam point of view, first position in times higher education, Asia University Rankings 2021. So, answer will be Singhua University from China, Singhua University from China. Next one, which institute is at the top among the Indian institutes in the top 100 of the THE Times Higher Education Asia University Rankings 2021. So, what will be the answer? This is also very important, very, very important from the exam point of view. So, this answer will be your IISC Bangalore, right? Have a look here IISC Bangalore, IIT Roper, IIT Indore in the top 100, okay? Fine. So, very important from the exam point of view Times Higher Education Asia University Ranking, okay? And Xinhua, you can see here University of China has gained the first position in Asia University rankings. Okay. And second place secured by China's Peking University. Right. Next one, UN United Nations decade on ecosystem restoration has been officially launched which will run from 2021 to which year? You have to mention the year here. Is it 2028? Is it 2036? Is it 2030? Or is it 2027? So, mere saath saath aap apna answer tally kar lije. Answer will be 2030. Decade on, decade on ecosystem restoration. We all know what is a decade? A decade is a period of 10 years, right? So, the United Nations decade on ecosystem restoration 2021 to 2030 challenges everyone to massively scale up restoration efforts that breathe new life into our degraded ecosystems very important next one dash has been named the host of the international hockey federation hockey world cup hockey five s world cup so what is the answer to this one international hockey federation hockey world cup very very important answer will be oman have a look here fih hockey World Cup Muscat Oman 2024. The year is also mentioned here. It is also important. It will be held at Muscat Oman 2024. Which country is to hand over the three MH60 Romeo multi role choppers to India in the month of July? So, which country is it? Which country is it? So, my answer tally ka lije. The answer will be United States. Okay. The Indian Navy will get this MH60, <coughs> MH60 multi roll choppers okay. and this is a rupees 16,000 crore deal. Okay. Next one, who has been recently elected the president, elected the president of the 76th UN United Nations General Assembly elected ke baad as nahi lagega it is a mistake in typing right so president of 76th United Nations General Assembly is none other than Abdullah Shahid Abdullah Shahid right and let us have a look at the other options Masat Sugu Asakawa is the president of ADB we all know Marcos uh, Prado Trojo, President of New Development Bank. So, what is, uh, I mean, where is the headquarters of NDB, New Development Bank? So, the headquarters of NDB, it is also known as BRICS Bank, isn't it? It is also known as BRICS Bank, we all know, isn't it? So, its headquarters is in Shanghai, China. Abdullah Said is the current Minister of Foreign Affairs for the Maldives as of 2018 election 
and 76th president of the United Nations General Assembly, very very important. 76th president, this is also quite important, I am highlighting this one. Next one, who has been recently appointed as nahi hoga, galat hai, yaha pe, appointed the chief executive officer CEO of HSBC India, HSBC India, very important, very important from appointments, right. So, answer will be Hitendra Dave. Hitendra Dave appointed yaha pe bhi galat diya hai in logo ne. So, had taken it directly from the newspaper. So, they also gave uh, the incorrect grammar in the headlines as nahi hoga ok appointed ke baad HSBC India CEO ok appointed HSBC India CEO right uh, very important please note this right I had taken it directly from uh, sorry I had taken it directly from the newspaper and hence uh, the mistake is reflected here also so appointed ke baad as nahi hoga uh, please take note of this right Dash has replaced Mauritius as the second largest source of FDI foreign direct investment into India during 2020-2021 with inflows of 13.82 billion US dollar according to DPIIT that is Department of Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade. So, which country has replaced Mauritius as the second largest source of FDI and what is the difference between FDI, FII? FPI, please comment section mein mujhe answer chahiye. after this video is over, right, mention in the comment section, right, difference between FDI, FII and FPI, maine uh, current affairs ke ek class mein maine iska difference bata diya tha, I hope everyone has watched that, okay, because I had discussed this in complete details, okay, I had mentioned the complete details and also given the examples right of FDI, FPI and FII. Go and watch that video and also mention the answer in the comment section or iska answer ho jayega United States, USA. USA has replaced Mauritius as the second largest source of FDI. So, this is very important and uh, one more thing that needs to be noted here. Okay. So, one more thing that is uh, that should be noted here is that <coughs> Uh, during the last financial year, India attracted uh, 5.64 billion in FDI from Mauritius. Okay. So, this is also important, but the most important thing that needs to be mentioned here is that Singapore, Singapore is the is at the first position. Okay. USA is at the second position, we have seen and Mauritius is at the third position. So, Singapore is uh, presently the top source of FDI, right? Amount is 17.41 billion dollars, okay? But the name is important, the amount is not so important. Highest FDI source is Singapore. Which company has entered into a strategic partnership with ICC till 2023, International Cricket Council till the year 2023? This is also very important from the exam point of view. Yes, my answer will be Bharat Pay. Bharat Pay signs strategic partnership with ICC, right. 24th Bimstek Day was observed on which date? 24th Bimstek Day, Bimstek Day was observed on which date? So, 24th Bimstek Day was observed on 6th of June. PM Modi extended greetings on 24th Bimstek Day, you can see here Bangladesh, Bhutan, India, Nepal, Myanmar, Thailand, Sri, Sri Lanka, okay. uh, 24th uh, Bimstek day and what is the full form of Bimstek? You must also be knowing this, right. Bay of Bengal, I am writing this in short, Bay of Bengal, initiative, initiative for multi-sectoral, multi-sectoral technical and economic economic cooperation right this is the full form next one international day for fight against illegal 
unreported and unregulated fishing is observed on which date? International day for fight against illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing. ठीक है, जो illegal fishing होता है, right? Unreported fishing, unregulated fishing. उसके अगेंस्ट जो हमारा फाइट है सो वी ऑब्जर्व दैट राइट एवरी ईयर सो इट इज फिफ्थ जून आई हैव टेकन दिस डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम यूनाइटेड नेशंस वेबसाइट इंटरनेशनल डे फॉर फाइट अगेंस्ट इलीगल अनरिपोर्टेड एंड अनरेगुलेटेड फिशिंग राइट डैश विल डेवलप द कंट्रीज फर्स्ट इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स ओनली एरिया इन गुजरात केवरिया गुजरात के केवरिया पे केवरिया में ओके दिस एंटिटी विल डेवलप द कंट्रीज फर्स्ट इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स ओनली एरिया ओके दैट पर्टिकुलर एरिया विल हैव इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल्स ओनली सो सो व्हिच एंटिटी आर वी स्पीकिंग ऑफ यस इट इज नॉन अदर देन स्टैच्यू ऑफ यूनिटी एरिया डेवलपमेंट एंड टूरिज्म गवर्नेंस अथॉरिटी गुजरात स्टैच्यू ऑफ यूनिटी टू बिकम इंडियाज फर्स्ट Electric vehicles only zone, very very important. This is a Nobel initiative, initiative, isn't it? Nobel initiative. Next one. Recently, who has withdrawn from the French Open tennis tournament? This was in the news, right? This was in the news recently. I hope you have already gone through this. Who has pulled out? This phrase is also very important. You can note it down. Pull out. What is the meaning of pulled out? Pulled out means withdrawn. The meaning is same. Pull out. The phrase pull out means to withdraw. ठीक है. So uh, recently we all know Roger Federer has withdrawn from the French Open, isn't it? Okay. He uh, he has withdrawn from the French Open, right? Because uh, he was scheduled to uh, face uh, scheduled to face Matteo. Berrettini, right? Berrettini of Italy, right? On Monday, but he decided to uh, pull out, right? Because uh, he had two operations in his right knee, right knee. Okay, in 2020. So uh, due to health issues, uh, he cited health issues uh, for pulling out of French Open. Next one, UN United Nations Russian Language Day. United Nations Russian Language Day is observed annually on which date? United Nations Russian Language Day is observed annually on 6th June. Very important. Please note it down. I have taken it directly from the United Nations website. 6th June 2021 Russian Language Day. Okay. See, I am putting in much efforts, much dedication for you, right? I am providing these classes for free for everyone on YouTube. I also want some dedication from your end. I also want some dedication from your end. Please do like this video and share this in maximum groups among maximum friends, right? So that many people can get the benefit of this class, right? Which state or union territory government has launched a vaccination campaign? Jaha vote, waha vaccination program. Jaha vote, waha vaccination. मतलब जहाँ पे वोट होगा वहाँ पे वहीं पे वैक्सीनेशन रहेगा वैक्सीनेशन होगा सो so, जहाँ वोट वहाँ वैक्सीनेशन प्रोग्राम हैज बिन रिसेंटली लॉन्च बाय नॉन अदर देन अरविंद केजरीवाल राइट ओके सो ऑल अब 45 फाइव ईयर्स टू बी वैक्सीनेटेड एट पोलिंग बूथ्स राइट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके सो जहाँ वोट वहाँ वैक्सीनेशन कैंपेन हैज बिन लॉन्च बाई अरविंद केजरीवाल ओके the chief minister arvind kejriwal who has been appointed the election commissioner of india recently so this is a very recent news you all know i guess you all know answer is ac pande anup chandra pande anup chandra pande takes charge as election commissioner very very important from the exam point of view okay all right which university has announced to give 100% free waiver for covid orphans covid orphans means uh, a child or a person uh, in fact will be below 18 of course so a child who has lost 
his or her parents to COVID-19. Okay. This university will give 100 percent free waiver to that particular child or you can say since it is university of course, uh, it is not below 18 right, uh, because in this case the person to be considered will be the student, student of this particular university. So, it is none other than Delhi University, Delhi University to provide to provide full free waiver to students who lost parents due to COVID-19, right. Okay. Those students who have lost their parents to COVID-19, those who are COVID orphans, okay, such students will get 100 percent free waiver in Delhi University. What is the rank of India? In the latest rank of 17, sust 17th sustainable development goals adopted by 17 sustainable development goals adopted by 193 countries of the United Nations. So, what is India's rank? So, aap aap, aap answer tally kar mere saath. the rank of India is 117th. India slips 2 spots to 117 okay, in SDG sustainable development goals. Next one, Niti Aayog and Piramal Foundation have recently launched Safe Hum, Shurakshit Hum, sorry safe hum shurakshit tum okay, campaign in how many aspirational districts safe hum shurakshit tum campaign in how many districts aspirational districts mind it answer will be 112 aspirational districts very very important i have taken it from the all india radio news right very important for home care support to asymptomatic covid patients asymptomatic means someone not having symptoms not having the symptoms not having symptoms that is asymptomatic right or you can say asymptomatic okay who has become the second highest active international goal scorer goal scorer pardon my pronunciation who has become the second highest active international goal scorer so, very important this was also in the news very very important he was in the news recently okay, due to this he has become the second highest active international goal scorer uh, putting whom behind. So, he has put behind someone is not it. So, who is he? Yes, he is none other than Sunil Chetri. He is none other than Sunil Chetri from India of course. So, the Indian team is known as blue tigers you must be knowing right blue tigers okay. they can still qualify for the FIFA world cup 2020. Okay. Hmm. Uh, sorry uh, actually the thing is that uh, they uh, are already out okay, of contention uh, for FIFA world cup 2022, okay. but they can still qualify for AFC, AFC Asian cup they can still qualify for the AFC Asian Cup okay, Blue Tigers or Indian team. Okay. So, of course, we all know Sunil Chetri, Sunil Chetri has uh, scored now scored 74 goals okay. and he is 2 more than Messi, Lionel Messi, Messi is my favorite all time favorite. Okay. So, 2 more than Lionel Messi right he has uh, put messi behind right and uh, the top goal scorer is of course cristiano ronaldo another gem right cristiano ronaldo he has 103 goals right in, uh, in the list of active footballers in international goals right third position is uh, is taken by ali okay mabkhot right Ali Makkot 73 goals theek hai. right next one RBI has approved the reappointment of Girish Chandra Chaturvedi G C Chaturvedi as the part time chairman of which bank as the part time chairman of which bank so mere saath saath aap apna answer tally kar lije iska answer ho jayega ICICI bank ICICI bank has received the RBI's approval for the reappointment of Girish Chandra Chaturvedi as the part time chairman of the bank.
dash has become the country's first first uh, sorry that dash has become the first country in the world to adopt bitcoin as legal tender so which has become the first country in the world to adopt bitcoin as legal tender very very important this was also in the news if you have gone through the daily news you will be knowing right just download our exigence educator app app mein aapko sara detailed current affairs mil jayega sara ka sara current affairs details mein mil jayega answer will be el salvador in a uh, so see in a world first el salvador makes bitcoin the legal tender very important okay very very important theek hai which edition of the india thailand coordinated patrol or you can say indo thai corpat coordinated patrol corpat stands for coordinated patrol between indian navy and the royal thai navy this is being conducted in the andaman sea okay so which edition is it you have to say which edition is it very important from the exam point of view which edition is it which edition of uh, indo thai corpat is it it is none other than the 31st edition so it is the 31st edition of the indo thai corpat theek okay, hai next one former indian cricketer rather uh, former indian cricket team opener who is he virender sehwag we all know him right famous he announced the launch of a website that will provide online cricket coaching very important to young aspirants in the country so what is the name of that website website ka naam kya hai aapko batana padega answer will be mere sath sath aap apna answer tally kar lijiye answer will be krikru see here it will be single c okay krikru okay next one who has won the leading actor award at the bafta tv awards 2021 so this is very important in the awards and honors section please please keep this in mind right answer will be paul meskal okay next one who among the following has won the leading actress award at the bafta tv awards 2021 this is also very important please take note answer will be michaela coel right michaela coel all right which tv series has won the best drama series award at the bafta tv awards this is also very important so which tv series is it answer will be save me too so this is the complete list have a look here bafta tv awards 2021 winners okay all right so have a look so see the ceremony itself in that london's television center and hosted by richard i read okay it's quite difficult for me to pronounce right richard i read okay so this is the complete list of winners have a look here have a look leading actress michael aquel i may destroy you leading actor from normal people paul meskal drama series save me too best comedy performance charlie cooper right and almy low wood best comedy series inside number 9 original music harry scott okay road kill and of course sports england versus west indies test cricket right very important sky sports cricket all right next one who among the following has topped the times 50 most desirable women 2020 so this particular person this particular lady was in the news right in the year 2020 this particular lady was in the news okay right so answer will be riya chakraborty riya chakraborty topped the times 50 most desirable women 2020 list okay riya chakraborty has bagged the number one spot on times most desirable women 2020 list theek hai so riya chakraborty as i was saying was in the news for most of the last year due to sudden demise of shushan uh, shushant singh rajput and the controversy around his death okay we all know the uh, actual controversy and the actual news okay which was uh, the thing which was in the news recently uh, in the last year okay after the demise of sad demise of uh, shushant singh rajput right 
the government of which state has recently approved Mukha Mantri Kishan Mitra Yo Energy Yojana. Mukha Mantri Kishan Mitra Energy Yojana. Very important. This is also quite important, right? Right. So, which state has recently launched it? Yes. So, it is none other than Rajasthan. Have, have a look here. Chief Minister Ashok Gehlot has approved it, right? Mukha Mantri Kishan Mitra um, Energy Yojana. That is Urja, okay, Urja Yojana, right? So, Manjuri de di hai, unhone. Which university has become the top research university in the world? Very, very important. I am telling you guys, very, very important. Ye, ye particular question is important hai exam point of view se. So, top research university in the world is none other than, none other than IISC Bengaluru, okay. IISC Bangalore or IISC Bangalore, right. Okay. So, it is in QS World University Rankings, right, very important. Next one, which city has topped the Global Livability Index 2021 published by EIU Economist Intelligence Unit? Economist Intelligence Unit. So, it is none other than Auckland. Have a look here. Auckland tops. Global Livability Index 2021, Dhaka, Karachi in bottom 10, very important, Auckland has topped, right, okay, very important, very important, okay. So, we all know, right, the uh, due to the ability of New Zealand city to contain COVID-19 faster, okay, early lifting of restrictions uh, than other cities around the world, right. that is why Auckland has uh, um, topped the list in rather index. Which of the following institutes has ranked first, has ranked first in QS World University Rankings 2022? This is also very important. Which is the top institute? So, this is the last question of today. Okay. So, which institute has topped it? And if you have uh, liked this class, please do hit the like button and share among your friends. Dosto ko share ki jiye is class ka link or hit the like button like click kar dijiega okay and share this class among friends and to download the class pdf just type exigence educator exigence educator on telegram you will find our channel okay class ka pdf or class ka link dono mil jayega right in case you want to watch this class again so yes it is none other than mit Massachusetts Institute of Technology is at the top. I have uh, taken it directly from their website, QS World University Rankings 2022, MIT, then Oxford University, then Stanford University. Very, very important. These are the top three. These are the top three. Okay, please take note of this. Right. So, with this, we come to the end of our class. With this, we come to the end of our class. Do like this video and share this video. Right, and if you are new to this channel, do subscribe to the channel. Channel ko jaldi se subscribe kar lijega. Okay, and we'll get the PDF on our Telegram channel. ठीक है PDF में just click on on this link. PDF में आपको ये link मिलेगा. Just click on this link will be redirected to our website, the current affairs section on our website. Okay, and you can download our Exigence Educator app from the Google Play Store app में आपको uh, English quiz, current affairs quiz mil jayega, right, free quiz, it is free for all, take it. So, and one more thing, you will be getting the reasoning classes very soon, actually uh, Raja sir, uh, unka to, uh, vaccination ho gaya tha, but he is quite weak after vaccination, due to the, the uh, after effects of vaccination, he is quite weak, I have talked with him, I have discussed with him, he will be taking the classes very soon, right, he is recovering very fast and very soon he will be taking your classes, reasoning classes, take fine and the next videos of idioms and phrases and root words will be uploaded very soon, okay. Till then take care, uh, stay home, stay safe, God bless you guys, fir milte hai next class mein, okay and I wish you all the best for all your upcoming examinations, God bless you guys.